In addition to basic infection control, reusable equipment must be sterilized. Take the sterilization process extremely seriously and make sure to follow your local requirements. Here are the basic steps on how to safely clean and sterilize contaminated instruments in a body art shop. Use a decontamination area. Contaminated equipment that is going to be cleaned needs to be separated from areas where procedures are done. There needs to be a sink with hot and cold water for cleaning and disinfecting equipment. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment. This is also known as PPE. Protect yourself when handling or cleaning contaminated equipment. It is far easier to prevent an exposure than it is to recover from an accidental biological or chemical exposure. Pre-soak. Instruments should not be left overnight in plain water because they can develop corrosion and biofilms that make the instruments harder to clean. However, instruments can be kept wet in a holding solution for a short period of time that can make the instruments easier to clean and decontaminate. Cleaning. In general, there are two approaches to basic disinfection, ultrasonic cleaning and hand cleaning. Don't mistake ultrasonic cleaning of instruments for sterilization. Ultrasonic cleaning uses ultrasonic waves and an appropriate cleaning solvent. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for use of ultrasonic cleaner. It is also important to disassemble grips, tubes, and tips after ultrasonic cleaning to allow for further cleaning. Hand cleaning. Instruments should be submerged under water during scrubbing. This lessens the chance of splattering in cross-contamination. Rinse the cleaned instruments thoroughly under tap water and allowed to air dry before packaging for sterilization. Packaging for the autoclave. Equipment should be packaged in procedure setup packs with color change indicators or packaged individually in peel packs with color change indicators. Hinged instruments should be in an open position. All packages need to be dated and initialed by the preparer. If a sterilized package has been breached or allowed to get wet, the instrument shall be repackaged and re-sterilized before use. Sterilization with an autoclave. Do not let people use an autoclave unless they have been properly trained. Sterilization requires varying degrees of time depending on the load, arrangement of items, packaging material, and temperature, as well as the type of sterilizing agent. Follow the manufacturer's directions. For proper sterilization, an autoclave must be monitored and sterilization logs need to be kept. Monitoring includes spore testing monthly or more frequently if required by your local health department and checking and recording the following. Time, temperature, and pressure readings. Color indicators on each package. The integrator in each load. Sterilization logs should record the following. Run date, load number, initials of person running the load, start and end times, temperature, pressure, actions taken if there is any indication of sterilization failure. After sterilization, the instrument shall be stored in a dry, clean cabinet or other tightly covered container reserved for storage of sterile instruments. All sterilized instruments shall be, remain in sterile packages until opened in front of the client.